Welcome back to my channel. I'm Marcia with Mom Needs a Clone and in today's video I just want to share with you my B6 which is my 2020 planner. Um, I didn't use it really in June or July because I like to switch out my planners in the summer but since August is pretty much here I am going to go back into my um, planner. So I have set it up. Right now I just have this little elastic band around it. I haven't committed to punching a hole in this to keep it in there permanently. So I just wrap it around it to keep it closed because it is huge as you can see. So it is a B6 but it didn't come this way. This is actually an A5 Elia note. Um, and I don't know if this is actually available anymore. When I looked they were sold out. But it was an A5 dotted notebook, 496 pages. And um, I just took it over to Office Depot or Staples and they just cut it into a B6 size. So I used a B6 Dalgy in 2019. I wanted to continue on, but I needed more pages. So when I found the Ilya note, even though it was an A5, I just had it cut down. So um, I guess for August, I'm going with black and gold and hollow and silver. I guess that's the theme I'm gonna go with so in my notebooks I just put down this little sticky hollow paper from Hobby Lobby and the reason I do that is I'm able to switch out these first few pages um, I put vinyl on these two black vinyl that way I can stick down and lift up whatever I want so every single month the um, first few pages are different because in a bound notebook, it's like you can't do too much. Once you lay something down or glue it down, it's kind of there forever unless it was tipped in. So these first few pages, I just make sure that I had something that was easily, like I could put, you know, washi or something under that side, stick it down and pull it up in a month and change this whole thing up. So um, that's what I've done. So these two are just black vinyl that's stuck on there that that'll be on there the whole year and then i just change out the covers and then i think this one yeah i did a white vinyl on this one so if you go on my instagram and you just scroll back you'll see these have changed out month in and month out it's completely different so that's how i chose to do that um i guess i'll share a little bit of the front and then we'll jump into august so i just have the annual calendar birthday calendar a little vellum pocket here with some goodies in it our big biblical feast that we celebrate uh, looks like some notes there and an inbox some goals uh, my 2020 vision kind of page here with some scriptures on vision and eyes and seeing and stuff like that and then my mom needs a clone business page my 2020 sinking funds Vehicle log, family health and gift ideas, audio Bible, and that's it. So that's kind of my first little bit in the front. And all my other uh, reference pages are just in the back. So I won't show all that today. That's That can be for another video. But that's my beginning pages. I do um, have a cover on here from Lauren Phelps Designs. Um, it is just plastic cover so it's got some pockets here that I'm not using so we go right into January this is kind of my January beginning of the year image so you have all my months and we are gonna go right into August so here is the whole beginning of the year there so that's January through July and then we have um, the beginning of August here. So I just put some pictures, tipped in some acetate. And then I just got this blank page here. I haven't figured out if I wanna write anything there or keep it blank. Just put some deco there on the side and we go right into my audio Bible schedule. Um, I don't know if I was being a little zealous or what, but <laughs> I guess. I guess I think I'm gonna finish Lamentations and get all the way through Malachi, which is the rest of the Old Testament, all in the month of August. 
So we'll see if that happens. My goal was to always start the month of September in the book of Matthew so that I can actually finish the whole Bible by the end of the year. Well, last year I didn't even make it through the end of the Bible. So this year I'm like, okay, I've got to start the New Testament by September. <laughs> so I guess I, I don't know what happened. I should have probably been, you know, doing a little bit more each day so that my August doesn't look this crazy, but we will see. It looks like on August 2nd, I will have nine chapters to do. That'll be probably the most chapters I've done in a day. So we'll see. Haven't quite figured out my scripture writing plan. I need to finish or figure that out in the next few days and get those scriptures written in. Um, and then I will use this notebook here to write my uh, daily scriptures in since I don't have any space in here to do that. So I will just reference what uh, scripture I need to write and then it'll just go in this notebook. Here is my garden calendar. I'm gonna do a um, fall garden. So I needed to add that in so I can keep track. And then here is my meal plan. So that's the first week, second, I tipped in a little vellum, third week and the last week. And then I had this blank page and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just put these stickers on there. It's kind of a funny little saying, so. And then I tipped in this vellum on top of this vellum. And then we have my August landing page, just with some birthdays and some information. The truck registration is due in August. And then we've got my August calendar, which will just have appointments and stuff. And actually, I don't think school starts then. I think they moved it to Monday the 24th to give the teacher some extra time. So I need to adjust that. And then here is my first week of August in a vertical layout. Threw down a bunch of stickers because honestly, I don't think we have a lot going on other than school starting at the end of the month and a few um, appointments for back to school, but that's it. And then this is just my little bookmark that I made. So for August, I'm gonna have vertical dailies. And at the end of the week, we'll just have my little to buy section and a small tracker. And then it goes right into week two. So I kind of marked it there. I'm gonna do verticals again, kind of pre-prep that pages. I might put washi over this because I'm not liking the way it looks. And then there's week three. I just put a little piece of washi to help me to remember. Week four, and then that should be it. And then it goes into September. So that is um, my August setup. I'm going with the little uh, black and white and gold scent theme here. So for September, this will all be changed out again and it'll probably have fall stuff because to me, September 1st is fall, not September 20th or whatever the typical day for fall is. So yeah, that is it. That is my B6 um, for the month of August. So yeah, that's kind of how I set it up. Um, I'll try to do a flip at the end of August to share um, kind of what share the pages all filled out so but that's kind of my intro uh setup for august so yeah that is it it's huge it doesn't fit any covers that i have so this is the one i went with um i got a sneaking suspicion i'm actually going to cut a purse up and um make a cover out of the purse so because I'm, I'm just not using it so we'll see but there it is there's my august uh, planner setup. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.